What's going on, YouTube? Might go back with a full case break uh, recap. Full case break recap of 2015 Bowman's Best Baseball. Um, each case contains eight boxes. Each box contains two mini boxes. Each mini box contains six packs. And each pack contains five cards per pack. Um, it's an overall pretty nice product. I did okay. I didn't do sensational. But uh, just wanted to share with you guys in case you're interested or thinking about busting a box or a mini box or something purchasing. Um, so I thought I would share, uh, share how I did um, with this product. So here's the base. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get it back. There we go. It's a stack of base. Um, they're okay cards. They're not great. They're pretty nice though overall. Um, as usual, kind of like finest in chrome. They uh, reflect well, so or reflect a lot. So they're not exactly the greatest thing for uh, on camera, but they're nice cards. Uh, Yasami, uh, uh, Yasmani Tomas rookie. Um, obviously, a lot of rookies. A lot of the recent draft picks are involved in this product. Uh, here's an Anthony Rizzo. Um, as usual, um, stuff is for sale. I will be sending out uh, a lot of stuff um, to to com and C O M C. Um, com C, whatever you call it, um, for sale on there. So you can check them out on there if you uh, are watching this video a little later. But if it's before I ship them out in the next few days, um, feel free to let me know. So unfortunately, uh, the base are obviously having a little bit of an issue uh, focusing. You can see the camera there. There we go. So, nice overall cards. A lot of rookies. Um, not a ton of veterans. Joey Gallo, rookie. Um, so, uh, I'm guessing I got a full set out of this, but I'm not even completely confident uh, that I did get that. Um, refractors. You basically get a refractor in just about every pack, I believe. Pretty standard looking. See, uh, any hides? Kyle Tucker of the Houston Astros. Jock Peterson, rookie. Uh, Urias. So, the, um, Ian Happ. Another up and comer for the Cubbies. So the uh, refractors were okay. They're obviously nice, um, nice additions to player collections and stuff. There's a phone number back there. No idea what the hell that's for. Yeah, throwing it out. So whatever, call it if you want. Um, the. Uh, Atomic refractors or cut glass refractors. I'm not sure uh, what the term is now. Um, they're pretty nice. Kang, obviously, a nice one. Starling Marte. Trent Clark. Eddie Rosario. Jorge Soler. Uh, Tyler J. Alex Reyes. And Andrew McCutcheon. Apologize for the uh, lack of clarity on some of those, but these these are really nice actually. I usually am not a f big fan of some of those X factors and stuff, the certain patterns. These really uh, really like. All right, so mirror image, you get them in every couple packs. They're okay. I'm not a huge fan. Um, I'd prefer if they would have just made them both together instead of the whole uh, you know other side, which I get the point of, but you know. This is a nice one here. Corey Seager and Josh Donaldson. Or, I mean, Troy Tulowitzki. Um, Chris Bryant with uh, Nolan Arenado. So there's a whole selection of these. Um, like I said, they're in every couple packs. Uh, what's
what's next? Uh, next up here is First Impressions. I think there's 10 in the set, and they're all, I believe, you know, first uh, first round picks. Um, Brendan Rodgers, the Rockies, Tyler Stevenson, Cincinnati Reds, Andrew uh, Benatendi. I'm not, I actually don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, Dylan Tate, Josh Naylor, Ian Happ. James uh, Caprillion, and Dansby Swanson, number one overall pick, who is now a Atlanta Brave, because the Diamondbacks are out of their minds. Next up, colored refractors. We got blue, Tyler J, numbered to 150. Blue, Troy Tulowitzki, numbered to 150. Green, Carlos Gomez, numbered to 99. Blue Dylan Tate, numbered to 150. A green George Springer, numbered to 99. Prince Fielder, numbered to 99. Brendan Rogers, numbered to 99. Green. This is a nice one here. A red Albert Pools, numbered to 5. I don't know if it'll uh, show up here, but there we go. 2 of 5, so that's uh, that's really nice. Uh, Dansby Swanson green numbered to 99 and a blue Votto numbered to 150. So the colored uh, refractors are definitely nice. Uh, next up, what I show? I showed all the refractors. So every, I guess it's every mini box uh, contains one Bowman's Best High Def, they call them. Uh, they're a nice thick card, as you can see. They're really nice cards. Um, Carlos R uh, Radon. Jorge Soler. Uh, Blake Swihart. Albert Pujols. Uh, every case contains one uh, atomic refractor of these. Uh, here's a Jacob deGrom. Byron Buxton is up next. Joey Vallo, uh, Gallo, Jose Abreu, these are really nice cards, so these are like, to me, a must-have if you collect a certain player or team, PC, Buster Posey, no, right, you had your chance, Buster, so here's the uh, Atomic. Alex Jackson of the Seattle Mariners. It's nice. Hunter Harvey. Max Scherzer. Mr. Uh, Mr. No Hitter this past year. Joey Votto. Giancarlo Stanton. Archie Bradley, Miguel Sano, and finally, the best one I got, Carlos Correa. Hopefully it'll focus up there. It's a, obviously a really nice card of a uh, sensational young player, so these are definitely really cool cards. When you do get these in a pack, though, it's the only card in the pack due to the thickness. So finally, one of the big, uh, one of the appealing things, the thing that really appealed um, the Bowman's best to me and why I decided to take a shot on a case was the autographs. You get four autographs per box, two autographs per mini box, so you get four per box. So a case of eight, you're getting, you know, eight, 16, um, 32 autographs. Um, there are veterans in there, but the majority on the checklist are uh, new draft picks and young players. So... Um, you're mostly going to get the young players in the autographs. Uh, first up here, uh, Brendan Rodgers. And what's neat, you know, it's kind of frustrating. It's neat because some of the players you don't recognize, so it kind of takes away some of the fun of it. But at the same time, I mean, you never know when some of these guys are going to develop. You might look back in a few years and be like, holy cow. Um, uh, one per case is the 95 Bowman's Best. Um autographs 
This is number two, I want to say 150. Number to 50. It's actually numbered to 50. Uh, Carlos Rodon. So that's a nice one. Um, he wouldn't be my first choice on the list. But, you know, I can't complain too much. There are a few uh, ones that I consider a little worse. Um, obviously, you're hoping for a Chris Bryant or a Mike Trout or, uh, you know, Harper's in it. Um, Colby Albert, Allard. Derek Fisher. The Astros. The autographs are all on card. And they're all um, in blue, so they're really nice. Jacob Wilson. It's Redemption of Steve, for Stephen Matz. Stephen Gonzalez. Yon Lopez. Braxton Davidson. Garrett Whitley. Uh, got a redemption for Cornelius Randolph. He was the Phillies' first-round pick from this year, so that's uh, that's an interesting one. Phil Bickford, Alex Blandino, Aaron Nola. Let's keep that one for the Phillies' PC. Nick Plummer. Tuki Toussaint, the uh, Atlanta Braves. Carson Fuller. Manuel Margot. Uh, Andrew Benetendi. I'm not sure if I'm probably butchering it. I got a green numbered to 99, Tyler J. Green Refractor. Nice card, though. I prefer to get the position players as opposed to the young pitchers. Not that, you know. This would be a nice one if it was the other Mariano Rivera, but Nationals version, Mariano Rivera. Uh, did get a veteran here. Anthony Rizzo. So that's a really nice card. A green refractor, another one numbered to 99, Alex Reyes. Eduardo Rodriguez for the Red Sox. Nick Gordon of the Minnesota Twins. Dee's brother. Tom's son. Bradley Zimmer. Cleveland. Matt Chapman. Oakland. Bew Burrows for the Detroit Tigers. Alex Jackson of the Seattle Mariners. Taylor Ward of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Focus. Ward doesn't want to focus. Uh, two more here. Grant Hel Holmes of the Dodgers. And finally from the Tampa Bay Rays, Blake Snell. So, um, like I said, you get a lot of autographs. Not all of them are going to be guys you know a lot about or you've seen play, but um, it's an interesting product. Um, I definitely think it's worth purchasing a box or two. It looks like the price is actually coming down on them a little bit, so if it does, that's all the better. But, you know, you break a box, you're going to get uh, some refractors. You're probably going to get a colored refractor. You're going to get a big uh, high def card or two and you're gonna get four autographs and some nice base so all right guys thanks for watching um i actually kept this to under 15 minutes so that's a good thing um comment below let me know what you think of bowman's best are you excited that it's back um do you not care uh it's obviously been a few years this is basically taken over from bowman sterling i believe um so it's a nice overall product i enjoyed it anyway happy holidays um happy new year and uh Thanks for watching as always, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.